Hello, this is Klopop321, and I'm doing tutorial 013 or 13. And today we're going to be going over using the for each loop to bring forth a form which has a drop down menu. So, first of all, let's make that, uh, that uh, shirts list again. And I'm going to make an array here, like always. Uh, I'll do that. And then set to extra small. Uh, copy here. Now I'm going to uh, get the list to be normal. And now we have this shirts array. So, first of all, let's uh, put this together in a form and set the action to be a question mark which refers back to this file set the method to uh, post and close that and then close the form tag after this and then what we're going to do next is make a for each loop so I'm going to say for each shirt as a shirt we're going to process it and um, First of all, we're going to echo out the needed uh, HTML to start the list. So I'm going to type in select, and then I'm going to put the name equals and then list. And then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do double quotes and do a new line there. And then after the for each loop, I'm going to end this select list, and I'm just going to do slash select and save it there. So, how do we uh, do this? Well, it's uh, relatively simple. We can go and start a counter, or we can, uh, or we can start this here and say um, count equals zero. And we're going to say echo and option we're going to say the value equals and then we're going to add in that count. Now you'll see that I'm going to add the count every iteration um, after this echo here. Uh, and then, oops, I don't want to be in double quotes, I want to be in single quotes here. And there we go. And then I need to put double quotes around this value there. And then end to this option tag then put in the shirt's value itself and then I'm going to close this option value and do that. Now what I'm going to do to complete this is make the count go higher. Um, as you, If you've seen my last tutorial, plus plus means plus equals one which pretty much adds one to the current value of count. Now I'm going to save this now as you can see there's this um, little drop down list where I can select extra small, small, large, uh, I mean medium, large, and then extra large. So I'm going to do this, but of course I don't have a submit button yet. So I need to go back to the HTML and go to input type equals and select. And then I'm going to say uh, the value or what it will say on the button as uh, order. And I'm going to save that. And but um, what about uh, the uh, what about the point of actually processing the variable since we have this form? So well, now I'm going to go up here and say um, if the uh, if is set, I'm going to do the underscore request. And then I'm going to do list to get the list variable and then I'm going to do this and say echo you chose the uh, the size of and then I'm going to add in this list here but um, actually first I need to move this beforehand because I need to refer back to this list within here so I'm going to do shirts 
And then in the ID, I'm going to put an int to convert it so it's uh, not just a string but an integer. Do that. And um, then save. Um, but first, I'm also going to add a break line and save there. So if I refresh here, uh, oops, I got the wrong thing here. Not select, submit, and save. HTML, by the way, defaults to the uh, text field if it does not know the type that you're referring to. So now I'm going to click on large order. You chose the size of L or large. If I try extra large. I'm going to get that too. As you can see, it's referring to it by this count, which starts from zero as this is zero, this is one, this is two, as it goes down the list. And so in the HTML here, uh, I take a look at it. it. Looks like I need to clean this up so that you're able to read it easier. Uh, just a second here. I'm going to add a new line and uh, go back to the source and refresh it. There we go. Now, I uh, select list and then uh, I'm going to drag this over here and come back here. Now, you see this? This is zero. That would be zero because it starts at zero. One, two, three, all the way to four. And uh, right here, it's pretty much just filling in the blanks, which go right here. And so if I added another thing, like uh, like a triple ex or double extra large, and refresh this, I can go down here and click on that. And it's going to know what I just put in because of that ID is automatic. That's uh, all that I'm going to do today because of uh, what's going on in my throat. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll probably be going over more with uh, using the loops and uh, and handling form data. That's all for today. Signing off, Fluff Out 321.